Well, for me, getting this role uh, was was huge. It's my first official paid theater gig. Um, there was a lot of excitement um, when I found out I got the role, but the biggest thing for me was the challenge. Uh, I, I've never played a character this dark and one that requires so much depth. And I was just blessed beyond words to find uh, Mr. Alex Purdy. Um, not only did he have the quality of innocence that I wanted, um, is I want to introduce the audience to the Manson bef well before the murders, when he still might have had a chance to be saved or save himself. I think it's an amazing start to my, my career. It's, uh, and it's been a wild ride. You know, every day you learn something new, especially watching the actors uh, do their work. He never, ever, even before he died, ever in any interviews, um, fessed up to feeling anything for any of the people that he killed. It was just business. John can bring this touching human uh, side to his work and I wanted that to be Carpus's journey. I play Dr. Alice Ridgway and she is a correctional psychologist. I saw her for this, I waited. After auditions, she was away doing a show and I said, I think this is the one. And Francine came in and nailed it. She sees something in him that he's almost at a precipice in his, um, in his lifetime where he could potentially become um, you know, a contributing citizen or he could slip further back into his life of crime. It's, just, it's hard to really soak it all in at this point, uh, what we're doing here. You know, it's so exciting every day, new challenge. So it's beautiful. Eastern Front Theatre presents Creepy and Little Manson, opening March 31st and running until April 10th at the Neptune Studio Theatre. I think it's going to take you on a journey inside yourself and how you personally feel about human nature. The audience is definitely going to go on a ride. It's going to be a roller coaster. You're going to have to hang on tight. Mm -hmm.